Yeah, there it is. It's on my foot. Oh, feet content. It's weird. What's going on, friends? Polyfab just reached out to me a few weeks ago, and well, they've sent me some shoes. In fact, these are 5D printed shoes, but they're certainly 3D printed shoes. Um, we're going to put them on and we'll see what they're all about. Friends, let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at PCBWay.com. Ordering from PCBWay.com could not be easier. I've done it myself. You just upload your files, choose the specs, and boom, instant quote, fast turnaround, and top tier quality PCBs, 3D prints, CNC parts delivered right to your door. Simple, smooth, and reliable. That's PCBWay.com. Let's talk about shoes. The history of shoes goes way back. We're talking prehistoric times here. The earliest known sandals date back all the way to 10,000 BC, which means that humans have literally been stressing over footwear for at least 12 millennia. Fast forward though to today, a global footwear industry worth hundreds of billions, a constant battle of style, comfort, and questionable fashion choices. And now the next logical step in human process is 3D printed shoes, because nothing says cutting edge technology like footwear that used to be someone else's CAD file. Loads of brands have tried it, but Polyfab have printed their way into the conversation and now into my wardrobe. So yes, they've asked me to judge fashion and what could possibly go wrong. So here they are. Thank you very much to Polyfab for sending me these fabulous shoes. We're gonna get them out of the box and see what they're all about. They reached out just a couple of weeks ago to tell me a little bit about their Hyper Air trainers or sneakers and they ask me my shoe size and sometimes we get reached out to and stuff just doesn't appear but these ones have turned up it says here explore every peak moment and uh, the box is super cool check that out the shoes of course are going to be just on the other side here wow look at this this is pretty cool the world's first 5d versatile sneaker it does in the literature talk about comfort easy drying because i believe these are a mesh so again if they get wet you can just dry them off super easy the boxing here i have to say is uh oh hello okay hopefully you're getting this on the overhead but uh these are these are actually all right wow okay let's take these out so here they are there's not too much more information here inside of the box but luckily enough i do have a ton of information that they've sent me on an email. Let's just move this to my side. That box is pretty incredible. Here we are. So in regards to shoes, just to be completely clear, my go-to sneaker or trainer are the Adidas or Adidas Z750s. I've worn them all the time. So more recently I've gone back to Nike, um, Air Max 90s to be exact. You would have seen those in my last video to do with 3D Printopia. But these are pretty damn special. Now, I don't know what to say really, they're kind of crazy. These are a 44, I'm a size 10. Again, they are super breathable as you can see here. How do I, how do I go about making a video about a pair of shoes? I would 100% wear these instead of Crocs because they're actually pretty comfortable. I would 100% wear these. Oh, yeah. Do you not have my consent to film me? Do not? No. <laughs> if you want to see more of this kind of content, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> well, I mean, I think they're pretty good, to be honest. As I said to you, I'd wear them in the seat. So now we're a week into wearing these. Now I've been wearing them at the gym. I've driven over them with my van. I've dropped weights onto them and I've worn them into the office a couple of times as well. And certainly in the office, it's split opinion on whether or not it's a fashion statement or a fashion disaster. The fact that they're 3D printed shoes, I think raises an eyebrow, but I'm keen to know what you guys think about these shoes down in the comments below. Now, one thing I have noticed about them because of the lattice structure and because ultimately they're very breathable, what I found is certainly as it's getting cold here in the UK is your feet do tend to get a bit cold when you're walking now i do wear socks and again that's another division of opinion on whether or not you should be wearing socks at all with these things so one thing that i did find quite interesting is generally people just wanted to try them on then went into some bizarre diy testing of their own personally i'm a little weirded out by shoe sharing but fortunately they are washable and quick to dry 
So of course, after putting these trainers through the drop tests and general abuse, I figured it was time for an ultimate real world test. How easy are they to clean? And honestly, this is where 3D printing really shows its magic. You can literally rinse these under a shower, inside and out, and the open lattice structure means that there's no trapped sweat, water, and of course, no soggy foam. And this thing dries faster than any other trainer I've ever owned. But for me, what's more impressive is what's behind the lattice. Polyfab call the material Elasto 1000 Bio. It's a proprietary based bioelastomer that's actually USDA certified as a bio-based product. In simple terms, it behaves like flexible TPU, but is partially plant derivative and engineered to rebound instead of compress over time. It's strong, elastic, and environmentally friendlier than petroleum-based foams used in most shoes. Now each pair is printed what Polyfab are calling Hyper Air Tech, part of their 5D versatile sneaker system. Rather than cutting and gluing layers, the entire shoe is built in one continuous structure tuned millimeter by millimeter for cushioning, airflow, and support. In the lab, they say it absorbs 40% more impact energy than traditional foam at five meters per second and reduces knee joint load by about 20%. And that's a bold claim, but judging by how these have survived kettlebells, tires, and gym floors, but I believe there is some substance behind their marketing. For me though, what I find fascinating is technology democratizes design. We're at a point now in 2025 that your next pair of shoes could be 3D printed and could be tuned to your weight, to your stride, or even your climate. And just imagine where we'd be in five years time. So I guess my question to you is, would you wear 3D printed shoes every single day? Or is this just a niche market for makers? And also, do you think they could replace traditional trainers? Because after living with these, I'm starting to think that these might just be the future of footwear. So this, of course, has been a short-term test. You can pick these up now over at the Polyfab website. Links, of course, will be down in the description below. Um, thanks again for all your support. I'm off to Shenzhen tonight, so I'm going to take these trainers with me. It's 34 degrees in quite humid heat there, I believe, at the moment. So I think it's going to be the perfect test for that. Now, I've reached out to Polyfab. They are based in Shenzhen, but the factory is elsewhere, so I'm not going to be able to see that, unfortunately, this time around. But um, I'd like to pick up another pair of these shoes. Loads of reasons why, but I just kind of figured it would be fun maybe to get this in a different color. Um, let me know what you think about these shoes in the comments below. I know I've already asked that before, but I'm really intrigued to see what people actually think about 3D printed shoes and whether or not this is the future. Um, I've got to uh, crack on. I'm going to be filming some short content when I'm out there wearing these things, so hopefully you'll enjoy that as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash a little like. Comments go in down below, of course, and we will see you next time. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.